I had somebody come in the office the other day that knew a little bit about Math TV, but it was their first time in the office. They were surprised to see how many people were there. So I thought I'd give you a little look at who we are at MathTV.com. So if you came in our office, you would see one manager, that's me. You'd see two composition design people, and these are young people that just graduated from the local college with degrees in page composition and design, and they're employed right here in town. And their skills as uh, compositors is actually getting uh, much better because they're having to typeset mathematics, probably the hardest type of typesetting that there is. Uh, we have two programmers that work uh, on the website to get uh, so that students can easily access all the videos there and do all the programming that's behind the websites. We have two people that have a variety of jobs. Sometimes they're in sales, sometimes they're in support, and sometimes they're just doing office work around the office, keeping things organized. We have one person that does all the invoicing and record keeping. We have three people that do uh, concentrate mostly on our electronic homework system and do support for that and make sure that all the videos are associated the way they should be with the right problems on the website. And then currently we have three student instructors. That number varies from time to time. But the interesting thing about these students, they're all math majors and a lot of them are on their way to careers in teaching. So what are they doing on MathTV.com? They're improving their teaching skills before they ever get to their first teaching job. So I would say in general, all the people here that work in the office, very happy with their jobs, like their jobs, like what we're doing. And um, all of this is done from the company that offers you all their eBooks for $30 for a one-year subscription and then sells print books for $58, $68, a couple other prices, but generally, these are the prices to students. Okay, so what's our reach outside of the office? Well, outside of the office, we have these employees. We have two salespeople. We have one acquisitions editor, two copy editors, an accountant, two attorneys, and five authors. So these people are all paid from this business model over here from mathtv.com. Beyond that, our reach is we have a printer that prints our print books. We have a warehouse that stores them and ships them to the bookstores. We uh, pay for an internet server that keeps all the ebooks and videos so that it's easy for students to access them when they come. We have college bookstores that we sell books to that in turn sell the books back to the students. And then beside that, we have a presence on Amazon, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So you can see the reach for Math TV is quite large. We have a number of people in the office, even though we're a small company other people employed outside the office, and then businesses that we do business with whose income depends on some things from mathtv.com. All of this for ebooks that are $30 for a one-year subscription and print books that sell for $58 and $68. So that's a little look at who we are at mathtv.com. Now in the next post, I want to go back to our original questions and the simplified view of the publishing industry and then give you a chance to do some comments on those. So look for that in the next post.